Well, good morning, everyone. Today is Saturday, February 20th, 2021. This is week 116 of our keto journey. Stacy had to go in this morning at about 4 a.m., so I wasn't going to wake up at 3 to do a video. I am solo today. Okay, so let's get into it. Last week, I was 337.8 told you we've been struggling lately and definitely for me struggling um, a lot of stress and not very much sleep all not very conducive to taking care of myself I know better and I'm trying this week I was 338.4 so I was up 0.6 pounds I did two days of one meal a day and I tried to be better about my windows of time on eating, not eating as late. When you're only sleeping two to three hours, you're hungry at, you know, midnight. And I know better than to eat in the evening. Doing my best on all that. Certainly not my best time right now. Uh, just doing my best. So for Stacy, last week she was 141.8. She had uh, admitted to having some pizza down in Indiana, and uh, I won't fault her for it. I mean, it happens. And this week, she was 141.0, so she is down 0.8. So she's kind of on her road to recovery, as you could call it, possibly. Um, this particular week, I've been trying to focus on just drinking lots of water and really trying to cut my windows to narrow them in so that I'm not doing as much... Um, grazing I guess you could call it. I do know being diabetic that my insulin resistance is an issue if I eat smaller meals throughout the day so I've been trying to do that you know the one meal a day the OMAD and uh, that seems to help and I try and keep that around 13 to 1500 calories in one sitting if I'm going to have something that day or afternoon. It's been checking out in Carb Manager I guess it's just going to take a little bit for my body to start reacting to those changes and getting back on course, I guess. I don't know. Feeling a little bit off the rails in many ways, mentally, physically, emotionally, <laughs> just a little bit, you know, stressed lately. Um, I did have one of my best sugars of the entire week this week, though. When I was doing the OMAD, just like we were talking about insulin resistance and eating meals throughout the day where the sugars kind of fluctuate and whatnot, when I did the OMAD, before I did my OMAD meal, I think it was about 5 o'clock that I ate, I checked my sugar about a half hour before I had done uh, the meal, and my sugar was 108. <clears throat> now, for me, my averages are 140 to 175 maybe. Uh, give or take a few points in either direction. Generally in the 150 range, give or take a few. Uh, I've had a couple 140s and a couple like 180s and can't even figure it out. But doing the OMAD, I was seeing the sugar there at a 108 really encouraged me. So I'm trying to use that as motivation as well for um, to continue that. A little bit of OMAD and then uh, try and get a day of fasting in if I can mentally make myself do it this week so uh still trying still hanging in there you know i look back uh i was in fitbit the other day and they have you you know a weight chart and things like of that nature and i look back and you know i was 442 at one point so uh you know i look back and it's still like 100 pounds less than where i was it's just this journey's taking me a little longer than i expected but every day that I wake up is another chance to do better. So I'm going to just keep doing it and uh, stick to the course and stick to the plan. Today, Stacy's working 4 a.m. to 12.30, I think. And then she's going to come home and have to sleep because she worked last night till 11 p.m. So she went right to bed at 11, woke up at 3.15, I think, and headed out for 4 o'clock start today. So when I tell you guys... Life is crazy, schedules are crazy, things are nuts. That's the kind of stuff that's going on for us lately. And then she'll come home and get a call and go jump on the phone for Canvas and do some of that. Meanwhile, I've been trying to keep up with 
the house and the basement and we're still trying to finish the basement. Uh, I've been, I was down there five hours yesterday. I filled a 30 gallon garbage bag full of stuff just to get out. We got things for donations. We got things to throw away, to sort. I still have boxes from when my mom passed three years ago. I still need to go through and, uh, it's a little bit emotional. It's a little bit stressful. It's, it's, uh, you know, it's definitely mentally taxing and there's so many other things going on with our life and in our personal life that we're trying to sort out and straighten out. So these things have kind of taken a front seat to keto being put back a little bit. And uh, I'm starting to see and feel and know that I've got to try and find balance for everything. I think balance is important. And uh, I feel like I've kind of lost my path a little. But uh, I'm going to continue with my carb manager. I'm going to try and tighten those windows up and do my um, the OMADs and try and mix in a day of fasting. Maybe I need to reread and rewatch some Dr. Fung to give me some uh, motivation and encouragement to do that. And, uh, <clears throat> and uh, I just hope everybody's doing well out there if you're doing your own stuff. I mean, I'm counting my blessings of the many things that we have going for us and that are positive instead of trying to, you know, focus on all the problems and the issues that we all have. And uh, I hope you guys are able to do the same. Um, at this point, even just staying neutral is a win, I think, in, in everybody's book. So uh, I'm just hoping for the best for ourselves and for you guys out there. Thank you for hanging out with us and following us on this journey. And, um, you know, we're still learning. We're, we've been doing this for a while. And I guess you just got to, when your body is plateaued, and that's definitely where I'm at, You've got to, you know, make adjustments and see, throw th things at the body that it doesn't expect and just see where it takes you and find out what makes things react and uh, get the changes that you're looking for. I know for me, probably my biggest thing is stress and sleep. I'm averaging two to three hours of sleep. And, and, and that's on a day where I actually sleep. There are days I can't sleep or didn't sleep or don't sleep. It's not that I don't put my head down and try, trust me. <laughs> I've tried melatonin, I've tried all kinds of different, I even have sleeping pills, which I hate taking. Um, you know, I've tried lots of things. I've talked to doctors, uh, natural things, as well as over-the-counter things, as well as prescribed things. And uh, mo mainly, mostly, I can't get my brain to turn off and uh, just got too many things going on. I'll, uh, I'll take a phone and make a list to try and shut my brain down so that the next day I could just look at the list and work on it. And that's probably my, my biggest help, but it doesn't always work, obviously. <laughs> so, but thanks again, guys, for hanging out with us and following us on this journey. And um, we will see you soon. And uh, I hope everybody's doing great. <laughs>